Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. We're actually starting this one on a Thursday because I put up last week's last week's vlog today. I don't know, I just felt like splitting them up at this point. Don't ask me for my reasoning. But yeah, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, my name's Katie. I'm an indie author and a freelance editor. I have three books out right now and my fourth one is coming out March 30th. It's called The Anti-Relationship Year. It's a friends to lovers, new adult romance. It's a good time. You can pre-order it. All the links are down below. But yeah, this is just gonna be a weekly vlog. I'm working on writing stuff, working on editing stuff. Some days I just, because I work from home, I work for myself, I live alone. I just find myself like, getting into these slumps where I'm just like less motivated to do my work and the main thing that I have found that helps me is if I get up and I get dressed and not just like any kind of dress but like professional not that this is professional but like something nice that it's like fun for me to put on so we're wearing like a full-on dress we got like the waist belt we have high-heeled boots on today and it just like completely changed my mood and now I'm like ready to get down and get stuff done sometimes I don't have that problem and we can get work done just fine in the sweatpants today it wasn't happening so yeah I have two client projects that I'm working on right now I'm doing a manuscript evaluation and I'm also editing a poetry collection so those are gonna be the priority today I was looking over the marionettes my book that I'm editing right now because one of my beta readers um, I was saying in last week's vlog that I sent the first three chapters to three of my betas. Lydia, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You were so fast. She got me the feedback back on the first three chapters in like two days. It was so helpful, exactly what I was looking for. So I took some notes just based on her feedback and things that I want to adjust in just the first three chapters based on that. And then I also made a list of like every thread or plot point, everything that I introduced in those first three chapters so I can keep track of those for the rest of the manuscript to see, you know, am I dropping anything? Am I neglecting anything? So if we have time, I'm gonna take a look at those first three chapters based on her feedback. If not, we're just gonna focus on client stuff today. So I'll update you if I have anything to update you on. Also, just a little quick note, cause I noticed it today. I don't know when it actually happened, but we passed a hundred pre-orders for the anti-relationship year. Wait, also I can show you something. We even got like tights going on today. For some reason wearing tights it just makes me feel like so much more put together. But we got our proof copy from Barnes and Noble for the anti-relationship year. So, I, so you can finally see what it looks like without like the bar or anything across it. Look how cute it is. So yeah, we passed a hundred pre-orders for this. My goal was actually only 50. So I'm really stoked about that. If you're interested in pre-ordering it, you have about a month left to do so. It's up everywhere. You can get the paperbacks from Amazon and Barnes and Noble, but you can only pre-order the paperback from Barnes and Noble. The print copy from Amazon will be up on release day. Hello, today's Saturday. I'm not sure the last time I updated you, but now I got lots of good things to tell you. I just got out of the shower, so my hair's all wet. I spent a ton of time on client work pretty much all week. So that means I'm giving myself the weekend off to only work on my stuff. So I'm really excited. We're gonna spend a lot of time on the marionettes this weekend. Speaking of, if you don't already follow me on TikTok, I put up my first sneak peek of the book over there, so. <laughs> but things have been going super well. Like I think I told you in the previous vlog, I sent off the first couple of chapters to three of my beta readers. One of them, if you're watching this, you are like a superhero. She got me back the first three chapters super fast. So then I sent her the next three. She got those back to me within 24 hours. So now I need to send her chapters seven through nine today. And then another one of my beta readers just sent me the first three chapters. So I'll send her four through six today. And what's really interesting is I've been saying like, I feel like there's a lot that I know about the story. It just makes total sense to me. And is so clear to me that I haven't like actually put into the text. So it's not gonna be clear to anyone else but I'm so close to it that I'm just totally blind to that. And both of my beta readers, basically, I sent them a questionnaire along with the thing, a specific question so I could kind of gauge how they were interpreting the book, what they thought things meant, where they thought things were going, so I could see if what they were reading was what I had thought I wrote. And um, turns out it wasn't. And the first one I got back, she said a couple of things that I was like, oh, like I was not expecting that to be interpreted that way at all. So hearing it from one person, I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And then the second beta reader said the exact same thing. And I was like, oh shit, we gotta fix that. So the feedback has been super helpful so far. Um, I've been really excited. I've been fixing it this morning. Our word count is slowly but surely growing. We're currently at 51. 1,777 words and I actually wrote a new scene the other day in a different document I just don't know where I'm gonna put it and that's like another thousand words So we're around 53,000 now, which is awesome considering we started at 37,000 and I'm definitely gonna be adding a lot more Also while I was doing my makeup, I had this like epiphany about something that's gonna happen in the book It's not gonna happen till book two, but I need to set up for it in book one now So I'm really glad I figured that out. I've basically been listening to Taylor Swift's reputation album non-stop 
I haven't listened to it in a while, like consistently in years, not really since it came out, even though it's one of my favorites. And I just realized that's like the perfect vibe for this book. Her whole Reputation era, that's like the vibe of this book. So I've been really enjoying listening to that album again. So yeah, I feel like I was just talking really fast. I'm just like really excited about the changes that I'm making. I'm gonna keep going with these beta readers chapter by chapter and I'm basically editing as I go and then I'll send the new drafts to the new beta readers to see if they comment on the same things you know but my one beta reader she's been so fast I can't keep up with her like I said I sent like three chapters and she sent them back to me within 24 hours so I was still editing the three from before and I was like oh my god <laughs> which is fantastic I love it it's like motivating me to keep working on it so then the next set of chapters are ready so things are good basically all morning I've been comparing the notes of the two beta readers who've read one through three and fixing up those first three chapters and I knew there were pieces missing and I hadn't like set up the world clearly enough for the reader but I didn't know what questions people would have I didn't know what people were not going to understand so seeing that was very helpful and then helped me figure out how I could flesh this out some more and I think we're pretty much done touching up the first three chapters I'm gonna look over them like one more time then we're gonna move on to chapters four through six and I'm gonna send over the next set of chapters to those two beta readers so that's what we're working on I'm just not realizing my bangs are doing something interesting it's now almost two o'clock I just set up on the kitchen table we're gonna jump back into working on the draft basically because I had to send over chapters seven through nine to one of my betas I wanted to read through them to make sure it was good so I did that I sent that over to her answered some client emails now we're gonna jump into editing four through six and I still need to email my other beta reader but I wanted to show you something that just got here in the mail this company sent me some of their products to try out this video's not sponsored or anything but I'm gonna try them and see how I like them and then I'll have to report back and let you know so the company is liquid IV so they sent me a bunch of their different stuff to try I just pulled one out we're gonna try the energy multiplier so you basically just pour it into some water and shake it up this flavor is lemon ginger interesting it's supposed to be equivalent to like one or two cups of coffee I think and help with like brain power mood performance focus so we'll see how I feel after I drink it I'm kind of addicted to caffeine so maybe this will make me less like jittery and they also sent some of their hydration one this one's an acai berry flavor and this is also the hydration one but this one's a lemon lime flavor and then this is some kind of sleep thing and this is blueberry lavender to drink before sleep so maybe we'll try one of these ones tonight so huge shout out to liquid iv for sending me all of these when they said they wanted to send me a couple to try i thought they were gonna send me like three of these little individual ones i wasn't expecting this so we're gonna try this one and see how it is i actually don't know how much i need to change for four to six the chapters i feel like one through three were big changes just because there was so much I needed to set up for and to establish. So I think a lot of the notes that my beta readers actually sent me on these chapters were like, now that I've read further, I think this and this and this about the beginning rather than like actual changes to this section. So we might be able to just kind of skip this all together and jump ahead. Cause like I said earlier, I think I wrote a new scene and I just need to figure out where to put it. Oh, I do need to write a new chapter before chapter four. Maybe we'll do that. I'm not usually a huge fan of ginger in drinks. So we'll have to see. I'm surprised by how much I like the way that tastes. Cause I, like I said, I usually avoid like ginger kind of stuff. That tastes really good. We'll see if it gives me energy. So it's like 245 and my beta readers are so in sync and they don't even know it. All three of them have emailed me within the same 24 hours. So I just got the this is like a really weird angle. I just got the feedback back from my third and final beta reader who has the first three chapters. So I'm gonna look through her feedback, send her the next couple of chapters. Man, I had something else. Oh, okay, yeah. Apparently this is working. I'm a little wired and scatterbrained, but we're working with it. I've been really into trying dictation right now, which is funny because I had been researching it on my own and trying to teach myself how to do it for the past few weeks. Um, you can do it directly in Microsoft Word. If you just hit that key on like the bottom left of your keyboard twice, it automatically starts voice recording and you can just um, talk and it'll automatically record in Microsoft Word. But I was struggling with like getting the hang of it and saying the punctuation and saying the right words to like get it to go to a new line and all of that kind of stuff. And then as if she read my mind the other day, the Courtney Project put up a video on dictation and how she's been doing it. And I was like, oh my God, I've been doing this lately too. And so she recommended this app called Otter. So I've been using this and I've been really enjoying it. I literally just like put my AirPods in because I have a little microphone. I don't even have to be holding my phone and I just like pace around my condo narrating it and I write 
like 500 words in like five minutes. This app automatically adds punctuation and stuff and you can save it as a text file and then I literally just airdrop it to my laptop and then obviously you have to like fix it up because it doesn't get everything perfect but still I'm like knocking out like a thousand words in 10 minutes consistently <laughs> it's nuts so i was saying i need to write a new chapter before chapter four in this book so i think i'm gonna try to just like move around to get my blood moving and dictate at least a little bit of that scene i need to plan it out a little bit more i have like a vague idea for it in my head but yeah that's what's going on i'm in such a better mood now i think it's been clear if you've been staying caught up on the vlogs this book has been giving me a hard time because i love the original idea for it and i love like the potential that i see with it but like actually getting it on the page and the execution has been hard like i barely got 37,000 words for a rough draft that's the shortest I've ever written for a rough draft and I write short rough drafts. That was the shortest. And I've been slowly but surely building up that word count and fleshing out the story, but it's just been like, I think coming out of the anti-relationship year, Joe's book, which was the easiest book I've ever written. Like, I don't remember a single part of that process when I ever really struggled. Like it was just so easy. The whole process was fun. I've never had a book come out just like that easily. So coming out of that experience where like, I could not have asked for anything better <laughs> into this where I'm struggling more than I think I've ever struggled with a book. It's just been a little bit discouraging, but all three of my beta readers have really liked it so far. They've been a little bit confused because like I was saying, there was like stuff at the beginning I knew was missing, but all of them have been leaving very nice comments and been very enthusiastic so far. So like they're the first people to read this book other than me. So I feel like I needed someone else's opinion. I was too biased on it based on just like how much I've been struggling. So it was really nice to see someone else's opinion on it and just see them genuinely enjoy the story and kind of give me that validation that you're not wasting your time. People would like this. You can get it right. You just have to keep working on it. Hi, Max. It's a little after seven. Don't mind my makeup and my hair. I worked out earlier and sweat off half of my makeup. So I am just emailing my other two beta readers the next set of chapters. I was trying to decide if, I also wrote the new scene to put at the beginning of chapter four. So I was trying to decide, do I want to send them the same file that I gave my first beta reader or do I want to include the changes I've made and then give them the new version? So I ended up giving them the new version just to see if they comment on the same things that the other beta reader commented on. I ended up writing the new scene. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like the idea of it is definitely gonna stay in there, but I don't know if that's like what I want the scene to look like. I haven't decided yet, but I did do like the dictation thing for it and ended up being about 700 words. And I also just cleaned up uh, the rest of the stuff in chapters four through six. So I think we're gonna call it a night and take a break from this. The scene I need to add, I think I'm gonna put before chapter 11 so i'm kind of working through the project chronologically so i think i'm gonna tackle that once we get to that section of the book so far so good but i know if i keep working on this i'm not gonna be doing anything productive i just like need a break from it so we're gonna hang out and watch some hannibal tonight i think and i will update you guys tomorrow <laughs> Hey guys, happy Sunday. I just ate my lunch, so hopefully I don't have anything in my teeth. I have lots to do today. I was working on client work this morning. I said I wasn't gonna do that this weekend. It's fine. I've been doing emails. I sent my chapters to my beta readers and the beta reader who was already like super far ahead, she just emailed me the feedback back again today. I think I sent this to her yesterday. Lydia, you're like a rock star. So now I need to get chapters 10 through 12, 10 through 12 and send that over to her. And I think I'm gonna film some videos today. Did I already say that? I've just been sitting here reading through her comments. Lydia, if you're watching this, I'm like, literally laughing out loud at your commentary it's so funny also in other news you can now add this book that i'm working on the marionettes on goodreads i made a goodreads page for it i'll have it linked down below i've also been adding to the music playlist on spotify it's full of some really good jams now if you want to listen to that i'm probably going to spend most of the day actually doing like laundry taking out the trash cleaning up and then film those videos and stuff so i probably won't be working on the book as much today as i would like but i'm gonna like get prepared and make plans so then i can start working on it again tomorrow because based on this next set of chapters that i just got back i have another idea for a new scene to write maybe we'll dictate that while i'm like walking around and doing stuff so it's now 4 15. i just finished like touching up a new scene that i'm adding i think i told you i wrote it the other day i didn't know where it was gonna go so i was kind of like fitting it together with the scene that i already had and figuring out where to put it in the manuscript now i need to write another scene below that to connect 
the new scene with the scene that comes after it. Maybe not like a full scene, but some kind of transition for those two. However, I'm super happy with the new scene. Our word count, it's slowly inching its way up. We are almost to 54,000 now. And based off of beta reader feedback so far, I've gotten a couple more ideas of other scenes that I can add. So we're getting somewhere. <laughs> it's happening. Okay, we are officially done for the day. A little over 54,000. Two very helpful kitty assistants are nearby. I'm happy that I got the new scenes written, but it's caused other problems now I need to change all of the following scenes to reflect what happened in, in the new scenes so we got some work to do but since it's sunday and we're starting a new week tomorrow i figure i will end this vlog off here so thanks for hanging out with me for the past couple of days if you're new here maybe subscribe and stick around i put up vlogs like this all the time i'll have links down below in the description for all kinds of stuff if you like this video i'd appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up it helps out my channel a lot but other than that i will just see you guys in my next video very very soon bye no.